Think about the select model, how fractured it is. They, they, don't, they call your house, right? A guy called my house one day for my son as a pitcher and said, he takes the phone call, he comes give it to me. He says, Dad, there's a guy on the phone. He wants me to go pitch for his team. If we uh, win, we're going to get a watch and a ring. So I said, okay. He said, let me have the phone. You go in the back room. I don't want you to hear what I'm going to tell this guy. So I get on the phone. I said, sir, I really appreciate you calling my house for my son to be a pitcher. We're really humbled by that. But I'm going to explain something to you. I live in a little town called Crowley, Louisiana. We have a Walmart. I can take Austin right now to the Walmart and get him a ring or a watch at the jewelry counter. I don't need you selling my kid on no jewelry, man. Why don't you tell him that he's going to tuck his shirt in? Why don't you tell him he's not going to talk back to an umpire on this team? Why don't you tell him we're going to get on and off the field? Why don't you tell him I'm not guaranteeing you nothing but a lot of hard work? Why don't you tell him if he doesn't know where his face is, how to wear his hat? Why don't you teach him some things and then you know what, we'll play for you. But why am I going to play for you when you're selling my kid on jewelry? My kid don't need no damn jewelry.